As stocks continue to rise, we have to wonder how far this can go. It has defied all logic and gravity itself. As central banks begin a new round of easing, is this the time to buy or does this simply outline a new weakening they are trying to fight off? You came here for the truth, so let me unveil that for you. Today I have many, many economic indicators to show you. We're going to go all over the map. I'm going to show you everything you need to know. Let's get into it right away. This comes directly from ECRI, predicting the ISM and market PMIs. The manufacturing PMIs have become the holy grail of indicators for many market participants. ECRI's US leading index of manufacturing PMIs anticipates cyclical shifts in the ISM and market manufacturing PMIs for the US. So basically, if you look at this, it is going to tell you what's going to happen. And they have proven this over and over again, showing you that what comes up in this particular stat will then show up in the PMIs soon after. If you look at this, they're going to give you the breakdown in this chart. It shows you that it is on a decline, just like the PMIs are, just like they have been for the last little while. It shows us that this will persist, this will continue. So if that is the case, if the trend continues, that is very, very bad for not just manufacturing, but the economy as a whole. You can see it on so many different factors, whether whether it is the PMIs, whether we're looking at imports and exports, whether we are looking at what's happening at any of the statistics that I have shown you, they all add up and show you a weakening economy amid a central bank system that is trying to prop it all up. Where we find a big problem is that people, unguided and ignorant about reality, believe that these individuals who are actually controlling the markets want to support it, want to keep it afloat, but nothing could be further from the truth. There are a few stats in here I want to show you. Manufacturing activity in the top left. Below that, you're looking at employment. You're looking at wages. You're looking at new orders and shipments and so on. And for the majority of these, these have actually started to come down over the last year and a half or so. This has been the trend, not just for these, but for so many. And when you see it in the United States, you see it in China, you see it so many places around the world. It's not the case of we're in 2017 and everything goes up every single day for no reason whatsoever. This is 2019. We actually saw what happened throughout 2018. That was very, very different from 2015, 2016 timeframe, where the world did see a slowdown, but it was reinvigorated by reducing these interest rates, keeping them very low, making sure that the tightening cycles didn't take place with the Federal Reserve. They were one of the very few who was actually increasing, but they were doing so at the slowest possible pace ever. And they had a very large amount of quantitative easing garbage on their balance sheets and of course that acts as if it is in the negative interest rates we've talked about the shadow fed funds rate before and what that all means but the overall picture here is that things are definitely slowing down business activity indexes you can see that july 2019 there are so many that are in the negative right now whether this is the manufacturing index shipments and so on all of these have moved down significantly from a year ago there are a few analysts out there that have pointed to what is happening in the economy. They've talked about the slowdown and we've seen that. I've highlighted that for you. But it's interesting to see the CEO of UBS. We're talking about the top guy at UBS telling the world that the central banks need to stop this next round of easing before it creates asset bubbles. Quote, I'd be very, very careful about growing further the balance sheet of central banks. We are at a risk of creating an asset bubble. Remember very clearly when you are listening to the money GPS, I'm quoting, I'm showing stats. I just piece it all together. People freak out and they piss their pants. Why? Because they have so much invested. And that is truly unfortunate because people are scared to lose what they have. Well, if you got a problem, contact the CEO of UBS and what he said is what I agree with and what we have talked about so many times before. Bubble rally? European assets enjoyed stellar gains this year on stimulus bets. This compares the stock to Europe 600 index. So basically we're looking at European stocks versus the 10-year German bond. That's the blue line. Comparing the two, it is very clear that you are getting a negative return for these German assets while you can look at the stock market in Europe and that has performed much, much better. This is all throughout 2019, even amid all the insanity 
clearly there has been one that has shown performance that is better than its competitors better than its alternatives and unfortunately this is never good when you see this type of behavior of course it is unprecedented because there's 13 trillion dollars worth of negative yielding debt today Strong growth in U.S. corporate bond markets and bond funds. So this is going to compare a few here. I'm not going to get into all the details of this, but I'm going to show you a series of charts here through Deutsche Bank, everyone's favorite company, and just look at what has happened over the years and what is going on now in the financial system. It is absolutely deteriorating here, and this happens to be one of the worst of the worst. Corporate bonds today are potentially, what many believe, going to be the catalyst for the next financial crisis will rising stars give way to falling angels the bbb quote elephant in the room and it just shows you the growth of these since the financial crisis think about this very clearly in the next crisis we can tell for sure that the bbb rated bonds are going to be a problem whether it's going to actually create the next crisis I don't know about that, but it is going to be a problem next time around simply because all of these are rated one level just above junk. Now, once they get downgraded, as we do see this happens all the time, there will be widespread downgrades. When this happens, it moves into the junk category and a lot of these funds have to sell it. They're not allowed to hold junk. So this right here is going to cause another major sell off. And of course, we're going to run into some major issues that the world is simply unprepared for buy side versus sell side gap greater than ever that's more stats here four charts for you to see buy side search for yield and sell side de-risking the comparison of these two on these charts right now big changes are happening in the financial system richmond fed manufacturing has moved down into the negative at a level we haven't seen since 2013 so this just shows you the significance of that and i wanted to finish off with this Whenever we get the GDP numbers out, it's always quite funny. It's always quite interesting. And we see this time and time again, where the numbers that are presented to us usually look rosy. Then they revise them later on. When we get those numbers, nobody gives a damn. Honestly, when you look around at all of these different statistics, when they get revised, nine times out of 10, they're lower. But I assure you, nobody knows about that. When we had the jobs numbers, I think it was either last month or the month before that, when we found out those jobs numbers, it was over 200,000 new jobs created supposedly and even though when it was revised down it was revised significantly further down I still saw news media and people quoting the original number not the actual revised number because remember when you get that information it's actually an estimate that's what you're getting initially and then they give you the real numbers later on but of course they just go with the estimate whatever gets put out there and then we have this same garbage over and over again people swallow it and they certainly love to do so. GDP rose 1.8% on an annualized basis in the second quarter would be the slowest since 2017. This year just shows you that there is weakness present in the system. I don't know whether that necessarily it's going to be revised up from this point or down. Who knows? Just wanted to bring it to you, show you that there is definite weakness that is on all levels, whether we're looking at government reported statistics or others that are out there that I've shown you today or on other videos. I'm going to end it there. If you found it informative, hit that thumbs up button don't go away don't do anything just hit that one button and you're supporting this crazy channel i appreciate that very much if you want the financial education you were not taught in school definitely go over to cnn and watch the news they have everything you need to know no wait a minute actually you should definitely read these two books now i'm heavily biased but if you want to check them out hit the link in the description below if you want the audiobook instead then check out the money gps.com People are always asking the question, what should I do with my money? If it is going into hard times, if we are going to enter a recession, if there's going to be a bear market, what should I do with my money? Should I buy defensive stocks? Should I put my money in real estate? Should I buy gold? Should I buy treasuries? What exactly should I do? Well, of course, that is up to you. What I am here to do is present you with information and then you make your best educated decisions. Now, the information that I cover, if you look at the Money GPS, the original book, a lot of that 
is in correlation with the data that Robert Kiyosaki provides. And one of the most important, one of the most overlooked things in the financial industry is the fact that there isn't one group of assets. There are four different types of assets that people simply ignore. If you look at the different asset classes, there are four of them. If you don't know that there are four asset classes and one of them is paper, just one of them, not bonds and ETFs, and then you have their 401k is somehow a new asset class. People are ridiculous when they actually come up with these ideas in their head. Regardless, there are four asset classes. If you don't know what they are, I have talked about it at length in this channel. Check out the e-course. I'm sure I covered it in there. It's covered in the Money GPS book. But honestly, if you don't know about that information, it's just go not going to jive with you when you're watching the Money GPS YouTube videos. That's it for the Rant GPS. Did you know that the Federal Reserve bailed out banks all around the world? Now, these financial institutions didn't come up in the news. They still haven't talked about it today, and they haven't admitted it publicly. But, of course, there was an audit that took place, $16.1 trillion. Are you interested? If you are, click this video, and I will see you there.